human and the worried whippet here. I thought we would show you some of the outfits, all of the outfits that I made for Jess the dog during lockdown last year. I think there might be seven or eight of them. Some of them are cute, some of them are pretty weird, but I thought we could just run you through them and you could have a look because you like watching her get dressed and we think this is fun. We are armed with a worried whippet mug full of kibble. Which one should we start with, hey? So this is the first outfit. Um, <laughs> I made it with some cheap fabric that I found. All of this was like cheap fabric. It was during lockdown, so I couldn't go shopping or anything. So I just like looked around on the internet and saw what I could find. You ready? Good girl. Well done, my sweet girl. Okay, so this is like cozy pajama wear, I guess. It's like really soft, stretchy fabric. Um, people said, what did they say you look like? A prisoner or um, a tiny businessman? Hey, trading stocks and shares. Basically all of these outfits are made with the same pattern, which I will link to you. Right, should we take it off now? Good girl. Okay, ready? Well done. I didn't sew before this, it wasn't something that I'd done. It was lockdown, I was bored, I had my grandma's old sewing machine, and I was inspired by Nello and Honey, who I'll also link to in the description, and various other people who were making beautiful outfits for their Italian greyhounds during lockdown. So I thought I'd give it a go, and it was actually much easier than I was expecting, and I was really sort of, I mean, <laughs> I'll show you some of the quality, it's terrible, but um, I was quite happy with the results. This is the first one that I made for her, arguably the most ridiculous. Um, also really challenging, I picked really stupid fabrics, um, but I thought it would be cute. You ready? Good girl. Okay, have you got your foot stuck? By the way, if you're enjoying watching this video and you're enjoying watching Jess trying on clothes, you should definitely check us out on Instagram, um, at Worried Whip It, because we post lots of this kind of stuff there. Good girl, that was a difficult leg, wasn't it? Definitely have a kibble for that. Oh, wait. Good girl. Um, this one is spectacularly silly, as you can see. Um, <laughs> it's entirely made of faux fur. I used two different types, like a pink and a cow print, and I made it while it was snowing, so, you know, it was really cold outside, and I just thought it would be a fun one, I don't know, to wear, to wear sometimes out in the cold. For those of you who don't know, and I always feel like I have to say this in these videos, whippets are a very chilly breed. They get cold very easily. Jess gets very sort of trembly and shivery when she's out in the cold. So we, she wears clothes probably for like six months of the year. You know, if I'm wearing a coat, she's wearing a coat, but especially when it gets really cold, sometimes she layers up. You can tell when she's cold because she'll be reluctant to go outside, she'll be shivering. But I'd say this is the heaviest sort of item of clothing that she's got, and this isn't something that I'd be dressing her in like year round. It's just a bit of fun, isn't it? A bit of fun for the colder weather. Um, for those of you who don't know, Jess had some tests recently. Um, I made a video about her health stuff. I'll, you can find it here. Um, but yeah, she had some tests and um, spent a day at the vets and that's why she's got these little bald patches you'll be able to see. I'll show you here. Some on her neck. There you go. And some on her front paws. Number three, this is proof of my very, very amateur sewing skills. <laughs> um, I tried to make one of these dino onesies. Um, the Trendy Whippet make them, and various other people, Loco Pet Apparel. Um, <sighs> yeah, I know. Jess has got um, one that somebody else made for her, but I decided to try it myself, and uh, it was foolish. I'm a fool. I'll show you why. You ready? Good girl. Okay, I don't know if you can see, but basically I've... Um, <laughs> I've sewn this leg on back to front, um, so the long side is on the here, <laughs> the short side is there. I don't know if you can tell, but she looks very silly. You look very silly, my darling. We don't actually wear it, because it's probably not super comfortable when you're walking around. Anyway, here you go. First attempt at a dino onesie. I think the colours are cute. I'm happy with the colours. These little spikes. Are you a fierce dinosaur? Look at this silly little leg. Oh, and it's got a hole in. Yeah, I mean, my sewing skills are pretty amateur, I would say. <laughs> Next outfit. This one I made her for Valentine's Day last year. And I actually think it's really sweet. It's like this soft scuba fabric. You look lovely. <laughs> I mean, you always look a bit silly. Wonderful, good girl. 
Let me get some video of you in this. Very sweet. Ready? High five. High five. Okay, this one here. Oh, this one here is another fleece one, but I added some uh, fur to the sleeves and stuff. I call this her Elton John outfit um, because I think it looks like something Elton John would wear. Good girl. Good girl. Mwah. Are you going to let me put your feet in or not? You might have to imagine what this one looks like with her feet in because I'm not going to make her put them in if she's not keen and she's quite focused on the kibble right now. Aren't you? This is the little look she's giving me. Do you think she looks like... um? Lord Farquaad. Do you know like Lord Farquaad? I don't know if this is the kind of thing he wears actually, but maybe it is. You do look very handsome, very handsome. We haven't managed to get those back feet in because she's just not keen. Anyway, this is what they look like. We've got one more outfit left, my sweet girl. You're super hungry, aren't you? Super hungry for snack rouge Ready? Good girl. <laughs> okay, right. Last one. Are you ready? One more? Another like Elton John number here, I think. Oh, good girl. Usually we do this with treats, but Jess is on this really strict diet at the moment because of her health stuff. So um, <clears throat> we're doing it with this special kibble she's been eating, which smells like potato peels. Um, and I thought she was going off it a bit. Uh, but today she seems to be loving it. We're basically doing an exclusion diet, so we start her off on this gentle food for her tummy just to get her back on track, and then we start reintroducing foods bit by bit. And that way if she gets poorly again, because we're reintroducing things one at a time, we'll know, hopefully, be able to identify exactly what it is that's made her unwell. Oh, you sat down, I was hoping you were going to stay standing. But no. This one is definitely one of the silliest, but I also think that it might be one of my favourites. What do you think? Do you have a favourite? To be honest, when she's cold, she'll, um, she'll wear anything at all. Do you want to do some little tricks at the end for people? High five! <laughs> good girl. Poor. Poor. <laughs> good girl. Anyway, as always, hopefully this is recorded. There's been a problem with the camera, so we will find out. Um, I've got my fingers and toes crossed because I really wanted to show you this. If you've enjoyed it, let us know. <laughs> and let us know if you want more like this. I'm not going to make any more clothes for the moment, but we could do more fun things, couldn't we? More fun outfit changes. Yes, and for more, you can follow us on Instagram and TikTok, at Freud Whip It, and I'm human.jess. And we'll be back next Thursday with another video for you.